When we started on this path, our goal was to take Airbnb search ranking to the next level. Over 2 million people stay at an Airbnb every night, and there are more than 6 million properties listed. Search ranking is at the core of this marketplace, connecting the guests with places to stay. When we looked around, we found a lot of great ideas advancing the state of the art for deep learning, but there were very few pointers on how to start with a model in production and make that jump to neural networks and finally to deeper models. So when we thought of writing this paper, we wanted to put down the things that we wish someone had told us when we started out on this path to deep learning. Search at Airbnb has some very unique challenges. To start with, just the scale of the problem is staggering. Airbnb operates in more than 191 countries and 3,000 cities. And each of these places have their own supply and demand dynamics, particular places where people like to stay and how much they are willing to pay for it. So you need a solution that performs well, not only in Paris and London, but also in Jakarta and Rio. And the solution needs to work well for someone who is looking three months in advance and has a lot of choice, and also for someone who is looking three days in advance and not many choices are left. And what you are ranking are not standard rooms with a bed. Each of these listings is unique. So how do you compare a spare bedroom in someone's home to a penthouse in an apartment complex to a treehouse in someone's garden? Since each of these places can be booked a maximum of 365 times in a year, the data available on any particular listing is small. So your model can't memorize which listing works in which market. It simply wouldn't work. So you really have to focus on learning generalizations. Then there is the user dimension, which is equally challenging. Users come from all over the world, belong to every possible culture, and have a whole range of budgets. So everyone has their own definition of what the perfect place to stay is. But users don't use Airbnb every day, and the data per user is again very sparse. So how do you find that perfect place for everyone? We found that we could address a lot of these challenges better than before by generalizing over larger and larger sets of data. And deep learning was a great tool to learn from these huge data sets. This resulted in a series of conversion gains and allowed us to make those connections between guests and hosts better. It was a lot of work, but we are very glad we made this journey. The conversion gains are, of course, something we are happy about, but it's not only that. Looking forward, the way deep learning allows us to think of the problem in new ways and allows us to investigate the user experience further, that's what we are most excited about.